German gold medals, Panther books and Crane books, vintage German crime good girl art paperbacks. Hi, I'm Gary Luvisi, and this time we're going to take a look at some German books that were um, that were um, imitate, imitators of uh, American gold medal books. Gold medal uh, began in the United States in 1949, publishing paperback originals. Uh, and a few reprints, but a lot of paperback originals, a lot of great classic books um, by classic crime and noir writers that are very collectible today. Uh, they had the distinctive uh, gold medal logo and the uh, yellow spines and the uh, first uh, first uh, few hundred of them. And uh, they were very popular. And uh, as a result, what happened was uh, throughout uh, many countries, uh, they imitated the gold medal uh, books they, and they reprinted them, uh, some of the same books with the same cover art or redrawn cover art. Um, the British have a, uh, a series of uh, British gold medal books. Uh, they are uh, different numbers and the different, uh, different covers on some of the books, but they uh, reprint a lot of the American gold medals. And uh, other nations also followed suit, including Germany. Uh, Germany had a... Uh, two series. They had the Panther books that were uh, from 1954 to about 1961, and they had the Kranich books, or Crane books, which were from uh, 1955 and 56. They were published by uh, Walter Lehmann Verlag, or Walter Lehmann Books, uh, from Hanover, Germany. And uh, we're going to show you uh, some of them now. A lot of them used uh, the similar uh, redrawn cover art from the American gold medals, and I'll show a few of those also. Here's the spines. These are the Crane books, or the Chronic books, and these here are the Panther books. A little earlier, a uh, little nicer, a little uh, great, you know, better cover art, and they really, um, really capture the spirit and the feeling of the uh, American gold medals, because they really imitate them uh, very well. So, without further ado, I'm going to Put on my glasses so I can see what's going on. And we're going to look at the first group. We're going to look at the um, at the Panther books. And you'll notice when 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 I'm showing you these that you're going to notice a lot of uh, a lot of uh, familiar images. This is book number three. It's from 1954. It's the Slaughtered Lovelies. I'm not going to pronounce the German titles because... Uh, <laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, thank you, uh, voice from the ether. Um, it's interesting, a lot of people say they like the, uh, the Budinsky. Um, this is, uh, I, will, I, will, I will mention the authors, though. This is number five, uh, Richard S. Prather. And you can see already the... Um, and this is... Uh, Number six, and it's John D. McDonald. So, gold medal collectors and noir, noir and crime collectors will recognize some of these cover covers. Um, in some cases, it looks like they're using the same cover art, just you know, re refotoed it. In others, uh, it's going to be re redrawn, and in others, it's going to be um, a different cover art or a photo sometimes. So, I'm going to go through. Uh, Number 11 uh, is, is uh, 1954, The Brass Cupcake, John D. MacDonald, and the original was 1950 from American Gold Medal Books. So here you can see the original uh, 1950 American Gold Medal, um, number 124 from 1950, and from 1954 the uh, German Panther book and use the same cover art and a lot of these do use the same cover art um, number 12 is uh, Don Stafford Stamford uh, number 14 is uh, another John D. McDonald number 19 is uh, another Richard S. Prather a well-known uh, cover very, very classic uh, uh, Shell Scott uh, cover. And uh, the interesting thing about these is they have um, a uh, 
cloth spine that's been uh, glued to the to the books. So the books are are attached or bound with a cloth spine in the early ones. Kind of makes them. I've never seen that before. It's kind of interesting. Um, number twenty-three is Edward Rons. A lot of those. Uh, a lot of people will recognize this cover. You don't recognize a lot of these covers um, from gold medal books. Number twenty-two, another John D. McDonald. Uh, number twenty-eight, Frank Kane. Number thirty. Another Frank Kane, very distinctive cover. Number 31, Elazar Lipsky. Number 39, Evan Hunter, also known as Ed McBain. Uh, number 40, Richard Deming. Number 43, another Evan Hunter, and it's a drug book with a uh, heroin needle. Number 47 is Wade Miller. And this one, doesn't. it appears they didn't use the gold medal cover uh, as a photo, but I, I, I don't know, I'm not sure. On the other hand, uh, number 49, this John D. McDonald, I believe, uh, this photo cover was uh, on a gold medal. This one I don't recognize. Maybe I don't have that book. I have most of them though, but uh, Every once in a while, there's one that sneaks out and or, uh, isn't uh, isn't found. So I'm just going to move these up, put them out of the way, and we're going to go through the rest of the Panther books. Number 50 is a Wade Miller, and I'm sure that this is not from the gold medal cover, but this one is. This is number 58, a Harry Whittington, and. Um, Number 61, Bruno Fisher. You'll recognize this from the, this is actually from uh, a Dell book. So um, some of the books are not, uh, not all the books are gold medals. Um, in this one, this is uh, used as a cover art and uh, is the book from, that was a Dell paperback. Uh, number 63 is Albert Conroy. Number 64 is uh, Bruno Fisher, Stay Away to Death. And you'll see that this one reprints the cover art uh, and the same book, Bruno Fisher book from 1951, Pyramid number 29. So here's, it's redrawn. And you can see that on the, on the, 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 the railing of the fence, so that's redrawn, and they use that book, and they use the cover art from the Pyramid, American Pyramid book. So it's not only, uh, even though these are German gold medals, or Panther Buch, B-U-C-H, Panther Buch, they are, and they use a lot of uh, gold medal uh, novels and uh, cover art, not all of them do. Uh, number 73 is by Helen Nielsen. Number 74, again by Elazar Lipsky. Number 75 is Mrs. Homicide by Dave Keen from 1957. And that's uh, reprints the graphic, um, or the ace, uh, actually it's the ace book. Number 76 is uh, Jonathan Craig. Number 83 is Richard Marston, who was uh, Evan Hunter. Number 93 is Matthew Blood, and I can't recall who he was, but I, that's a pseudonym, I believe. These look very different than the first ones you said. Yeah, they're, they're, the first ones were much more uh, detailed, much better rendered. These are kind of, uh, they're slipping a little bit in the art, but the, still the art is, is still nice. Uh, number 98 is uh, a Gil Brewer novel. Um, number 149, we skip up to 149 now, is a Robert Dudgeon novel. Uh, Robert Dudgeon 
wrote uh, crime novels in Australia, and uh, so they reprinted some of these, and then this is a, 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 a totally new cover that they made for this book, and some of these other ones also. Um, number 153 is a Talmadge Powell. Number 157 is another Robert Dudgeon with a uh, with a Mitchell Hooks cover, and actually it uses the um, Mitchell Hooks cover from uh, gold, the American Gold Medal, number 710, from 1957, and that's Journey into Terror, which is by Peter Rabe. So here you know, they used the same cover art as the American, but they used uh, different it was different authors. It wasn't uh, it was not Peter Rabe. This is again the Australian author Robert Dudgeon. Um, number 158 is Peter Bannon. And you can see as they, you know, as we get up to higher numbers, they're, they're not as nice. They're not, the artwork isn't that, uh, that well rendered, but, uh, they're still pretty nice. And these still go up to like, uh, 1961. Uh, last two are, uh, number 165 by Sean Gregory. Don't know who he is. And the last one from 1961, number 185, is uh, by Kevin M. Slattery, and it's a boxing novel. So those are all the the Panther books that I have. There's a lot of them, obviously, that I'm missing, but I have quite a few of them. Uh, probably about 30 or 35 of them, and we're going to put those on the side here. And we're going to take a look at the, the other series, the Crane, the Chronic book, C-R-A-N-I-C-H-B-U-C-H, Chronic book, or Crane books. And uh, it's from 1955. This is the first book in the series. It's by Sam S. Taylor. Uh, number six is by Gil Brewer. Satan is in wide or whatever I don't know how to pronounce that but it's probably Satan is a woman that, that uh, popular title um, number seven is a Richard Deming book and um, again the artwork comes from a gold medal this one comes from a gold medal number 108 fourth printing from 1951 see double make hair and um, except it's a Wade Miller novel with this cover art in the German edition cover art and it's a Richard Deming novel so it's just uh, again they switched it around a little bit um, Crane book number nine is a Richard S. Richard S. Prather uh, 11 is, is by Don Betteridge is an author who I haven't heard of I don't know if he's in the gold medal series or in another series or not. Um, number 12 is another Gil Brewer. Number 14 is a uh, Ross Angel. Number 16 is a uh, Day Keen. Number 21 Edward Rons, or William, William, uh, uh, William S. Aarons. Um, number 23, another Day Keen. And uh, number 28 is James Kiernan. Is James, is Keir, Kieran. Yeah, James Kieran. And, uh, that gives you a little bit of a look and a little bit of a taste at the two unique series of books that probably um, I don't think have ever been shown before. Uh, I've had these uh, listed in uh, past issues of Paperback Parade going back maybe 15 years or so. But um, as far as uh, showing these books, uh, even uh, letting people know of their existence, I don't think... Uh, Anything's ever been done on these German uh, gold medal books, the Panther and the Crane, Crane books. 
So I, I always try to bring something that I, th I think is unique or different, uh, strange or interesting to these videos that, uh, you know, it's, uh, that I can share with you and I hope that you enjoy it. And uh, you don't even have to collect the books, but just to know that they're out there and to be able to see the different editions. Uh, the interesting thing about these German editions from the 50s is they, uh, of course, they imitate their uh, German gold medals and they imitate the American gold medals, but also they use a lot of the cover art from the American paperbacks and they um, reprint a lot of the, uh, a lot of the best uh, crime novels by very collectible uh, American authors. So these books in some way, you know, cases are uh, collectible themselves because uh, people who uh, collect some of these, uh, collect some of these authors will definitely want to uh, want these books or be interested in them. So it's just to let you know what's out there. And um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, look at these uh, unique series of uh, German gold medal paperbacks. And if you did, Give it a share, give it a thumbs up and a like, and thanks for looking, and see you next time.